Today we are taking a look at one of my absolute favorite brands of toy haulers. It's not the best toy hauler that you can buy, most certainly not the worst toy hauler you can buy, but in the fifth wheel toy hauler market, my opinion is that perfect combination of both quality and price. This is the 2024 Alliance Valor Model 40 V13 with a 13 foot garage. We're gonna be showing you all the features about it and we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited today to be showing everybody this awesome Alliance toy hauler. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! What's going on? It, like, a cold front came in here to Ocala, so I came in my shorts and t-shirt today. Yes! And then I'm like, oh man, it's cold, I had to throw my jacket on. But I'm so excited to take a look at this Valor. Um, you guys know we love Alliance, and this is one of their coolest floor plans, in my opinion. So yes. Can't wait to show you guys. And we sell Alliance at our two new dealerships. Will, tell everybody about the grand openings bing, that we got going on right here. Yeah, so we'll be in Fort Myers, Orlando, or Winter Garden, I should say, and uh, Fort Pierce. On these dates. On these dates. I for a grand. I don't remember the dates, but they're right there. And we will be there for the grand opening sale. We will. And our Tenth four April 10th, 11th, 12th. And or and um and our Fort Myers and Fort Pierce stores sell alive. Yes. Let's begin, Will. Model is the Valor 40 V13. The actual tip tip leg is 44 feet 6 inches. The dry weight is 15,434 pounds. The hitch weight is 3,000 bones. 3,000 pounds. 98 gallons on the fresh water, 106 on the gray and black water. Well, it's a boondocking machine. It is. This is made to go off the grid, off the road, <clears throat> and it's the Valor. Again, is there new competitors out there kicking the Valor's butt on quality? Sure, yes. But quality times price? equals the valor you know yeah yeah beautiful paint and fiberglass front cap i do kind of like the gray i kind of don't like the i know gray. right i was thinking that like i'm like i like it but i don't like it it's, right i like their full body paint option jen, for sure jen bing please show the full body paint option on the valors that looks fantastic yep but then you get to even more money i know right here you do have the current rental flex pin box here okay right over here we have some really good storage you can see that it does have the solar controls on this, which is very nice. We're yep. actually running off the solar we right are. now. Right over here, we got some storage. You can see one of those batteries. And then here's what's really cool. Even though it's the solar, you oh, still man. have... It's oh, locked. man. The, you got your key? No, because no, it's not. It's key to like, so it's got not it. a master. But there is a generator right there. It's the NPS 6000 generator. Okay. Coming on down. And double quote me on that generator, but... I'm. Yeah, our That's paradigm has a uh, yeah. 5,500. Well, hang on then, Will. It says here on the website that it's the NPS 6,000. Yeah, they might use something different in the Valors. Very good. Right here, we do have six-point hydraulic auto leveling. Yep. Right over here, we got a propane tank. Okay. Very cool. Over here, we got sideways swinging slam latch doors. Very nice. TV awning controls, power, and slide-out controls. Here's what I mean. Right here, here is where we can control the awning. We put the awning out right here. So, if you're at one of those crazy campgrounds, like at an RV dealership, oh yeah, you don't want to hit your neighbor's camper, all you do is you watch and you hold it to make sure that you can get every square inch of camping space and awning space <laughs> there you right go there. so listen you can be over your your partner's camp apparently yeah but you can't be touching it i love how they added those features there and you even got the little light chips in there motion light chips i love that yep this is a valor which means it's warranty for full-time rving a lot of brands, they don't warranty full-timers. That's a huge Right, problem. right. Also right here, you can see they use Asdel. Asdel is what goes behind the fiberglass, and it's composite, and it won't delaminate on you. Okay. Not only that, you have Clifford solid steps with the assist. Very These nice. These are very heavy steps, so I like how they do it that way. Grab handle to get it on the inside. And then right here, Will, could you get any better? 
Right. It does. With an outside TV, speakers, cell phone charger station. I love this there. Yeah. And then here is a nice little refrigerator. We don't need okay. no sink. Right. We just need TV and drinks. Right over here. We do have power on the outside. Okay. Water heater on the outside. Traditional. Kind of ugly right there. Yeah. It is what it is. And then look at these tires. Well, they're Sterlings. I love those. ST 235-85R16 with the Moride CRE 3000 suspension throughout. Okay. All right, coming on down. We do have the fold up aluminum steps, womp womp. Yeah. They do that so you have more space in the garage area and at least they are aluminum, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Probably. Okay. And then right here, we just have a little storage box for some tools and another power awning with LED lights right there. Nice. Coming around the back, well, we do have a ramp door. This ramp door doubles as a patio. Also, it's a ramp door, zero G ramp door, um, so you can get your toys inside. Another power awning and prep for a backup camera there. Awesome. Finishing up, 50 amp service right there. Fuel station there, fuel pump here as well, so you can fill up your ATVs, your golf carts, and all that good stuff. All right, here we got your rack and pinion slide out system, and then the cable driven slide out system for the bedroom. Really nice slide out systems that they're using. Uh, just a superior product. Right. And I lied. Well, yeah, that it's on its full box. Yeah, it was the uh, air compressor. I'm yep. sorry about that, America. It's okay. America, I'm sorry. But here's what it is. Yeah. And you know what? Will set that up for me, didn't you, Will? What's that? This. No, I didn't do that. Oh, yeah, of course I did. <laughs> you are the best partner ever. And then right underneath here. That is where you're dumping your gray and tank dump stations. Oh, all the way down there. Okay. Yep. And then wrapping up with the outside. Look, oh man, look at that manifold or whatever you want to call that. What, what, that's not the right word. What is that? I forget what they call it, but essentially the reason they did this was so that if you had a leak, you could easily come here and just shut it off. That's amazing. Outdoor yeah. shower, city water connection. You know what? I like that thing. I do too. Like, it's kind of ugly, honestly, but like the practicality is amazing. Wow. Wow. No. I think it looks really cool. Coax power on the outside and the other side of that storage. Okay. What's a manifold? Oh. I feel like I just made that word up. Whatever that is, well, it is very nice. Propane tank. And then here is your auto leveling system. Nice. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, let's go. Take a look. Okay. Going on the inside, Will. All right. We'll start up front. You have the bedroom right here. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Bathroom right next to that. Right there. Coming on down, you have your living space and kitchen, all kind of combined into the middle. And then all the way in the back, of course, is your garage. And half bath right there. Hey, Will. What? Hey. Can I tell America something? What? Guys. I'm known to BS my way through life sometimes. Yeah. You know that what you know what that was called? A manifold. A manifold. Oh, was it? There you go. That's Guys, funny. Guys, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip, like fuel rest stops, break areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Well, and we're back. Okay. Every time we move, the solar's a little finicky I right know. now. 
I think it might not be tightened down on oh, the battery okay. or something like that. So, like, we just got to move easy. Yeah. But I actually want you to give it a start. Okay. We'll start right back here. Oh, yeah, manifold water system. No way! It says it there? Yep. Yes! Guys, smash the thumbs up button for that. You know what? What? Jen, bing! Show us a bobblehead. We're giving away a bobblehead. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you like about this unit, what you don't like about this unit. And uh, hashtag manifold. And I'll select somebody to win a bobblehead. And we'll announce that winner on two days from now, next towable winner. We just got to remember to tell Jen, bing, to pick a winner like that. Okay. Manifold! You got nice storage up top here. Little, or big graystone microwave here. Four burner graystone cooktop here. Nice backsplash. And oven right here. Turkey tested. It says turkey approved. And then what, what's that right there? This? Yes. America John Cena. That's right. You got storage right here. And then coming over this way, huge storage right there. Wow. Look how big these doors are. That is absolutely massive. A nice window right here on your camping side to let in some good natural light. Nice extension faucet. Big single bowl sink. And then storage right under here. Great. Well, let's get this jump box because our weight shifting is getting it on yeah. and off the battery. Okay. Sorry about that, America. We were being lazy bones trying to... uh. Get away with no jump box. Okay. Nice sink right here. Big storage underneath. Right there. Yep. And then finishing up, you kind of have this little peninsula here. Solid service countertop throughout the whole kitchen. Nice drawer. Right there. Look at that. Glazed birch. There you go. I like that. Okay. I don't think... Oh, there is here. You got power right here. Little flip up countertop extension here. I love that that continues like the same level. Yes. And a little bit more storage right there. And it's solid surface, not that it old is. epoxy pour. Yes. We were actually talking to uh, somebody about that. We were. And the person that we were talking to is somebody that hosts the campground. And the campground is somewhere where we want to host a rally sometime in October. Yeah. First announcement right now, official. But if you guys want to come to our rally in October, Join our Facebook group, Club Art Deco. That's right. Because uh, we might limit it to only our Facebook group. By the way, the Facebook group's free. Show that fridge ball. Oh, yeah. The Facebook group is free. Nice ever chill refrigerator right yes. here. Yes. And then freezer down below underneath. Yes, I love it, Will. There you go. All right, storage up there. Yep. Okay. Held up by a strut, too. Very nice. And then hold this over okay. here in the living room. We got good storage there. Is your eye okay, Will? Yeah, they're like drying out in this cold weather, I think. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. Why does it look bad? Well, no, you keep touching your face. Yeah. Right over here, flush floor slides. Also, please notice the no vent floors in the slides. Right. Also, you know what it is, Will? There's no dinette in here. I did notice that. I love it. This so, is the rear kitchen, the 29RK. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where you could eat if you needed to. Like, you get a little, you know, breakfast thing there. Oh, I messed oh, up Oh, so man. Bad. Look at that. Guys, so this kitchen, this sofa, and this sofa, and this entertainment center is the 29RK Delta. Yeah. It's the one I should have bought. You want to do a little switcheroo? Well, I can't now. I know. I got the world's most expensive Delta. Right. Yeah, I really do. Very nice seats right here. I don't know. Bill Martin might have beat you with his independent suspension. No, and he didn't. Not with my solar package. He's got solar on his, too. It's not the same I IS is expensive. Look at that. Very nice sofa right here. What's real nice is this does come out and trifold. We do have these slow rise shades. This right here. Okay. Mine's more expensive. I have more options. Okay. I have a Brooklyn bedding mattress in mine. Very nice. Did I show this cabinetry? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, oh yes, wow. you did. You oh, did. did. Yep. Okay. And then over here is an entertainment center. Check this out. Holy smokes, that's huge. You guys should do like a video at his house comparing the two. 
See if, you know, you could come over to his house. Yeah, if I was ever invited. Yeah. Jensen TV, sound system right there, and a fireplace that does produce heat from electricity, and we are keeping that in the video. Okay. Well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Maybe this rally I will be. Yeah. MSRP on this unit here is $148,008. Will. Yeah. MSRP. Okay. Sale price, Jen, we're not allowed to advertise the sale price on this unit because it is a current model year, but here's what I know. We love Bill Martin as, love, as much as we like messing with him. We love the Brady's. We love Alliance, and it's our goal, being Alliance owners ourselves, that we get everybody the absolute best price on an Alliance unit. So if you're interested in joining the fam alley of Alliance, all you got to do Let's go to generalrv.com backslash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys. They'll get you one thing and one thing only. And, well, that is... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Up or down? Let's go up. Okay, you go on. Go okay. on up. Moving on up, Will. All right. No, seriously. The uh, Before we go do that... The customer service of Alliance is absolutely phenomenal. And we want to let people know, look at these other side of storage. I love these tangible buttons. You know what I'm saying? But we want to let people know that as RV influencers, we can get RVs for free and like demo them. Kind of like car salespeople, yeah, right? Yeah. Like everybody at the BMW dealership drives a BMW because they're mm -hmm. on demos or yeah. something like that. Um, we could have done that in the RV industry, but... We, Will's on his... Wanted, I want, you know, wanted an alliance. Right, but we yeah. bought them with our yeah. own money. Yeah. He He's on he's on his second, going on his third. I can't discuss any more than that. Yeah. But I'm on my first, and we actually own them with our own money. That's, what, right. that's what I'm trying to say. Talk to me, Will. I love this shower. Obviously, plenty of width, plenty of depth, but it's actually a step down. Yes. Which is awesome. Giving you tons of head height in here. This definitely passes. Beep! That's shower test seal of approval. Sure is. And that's not an encore. That's a front front I line. I saw that, yeah. Staying on out of here, Will. Okay. Right over here, we have a very nice sink. Okay. Solid surface countertops in the sink. No more epoxy pour. Nice. A little bit of storage there. Uh-oh. Pour some toilet. Well, we love Alliance, but unfortunately, this floor plan, this is not a prime poop okay. position. Okay. Womp, womp. Yeah, I'm just... You know, I'm just nestled in. It, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, I can see it. Not a big deal. Sliding door here, sliding door here. Nice medicine cabinet. Oh, and liquefied our brand of army toilet tank treatment and different accessories now. Yeah. So we have the new powder, like okay. Happy Camper. We got tank sensor cleaner, which will help clean your sensors, and RV toilet bowl cleaner. Guys, you can get any of our liquefied products by going to liquefiedrv.com. Or search it on Amazon. There you go. And just so everybody knows, we will be at the Alliance National Rally because mm -hmm. we're Alliance owners. Right. And um, we won't be there talking RV sales. It's not what we do there. We go there and have a good time. But we will be giving out liquefied. A special, of course. A special Alliance Blue Edition. Yep. Right over here, we have a queen size bed. Storage above. Can we option this for a king, Will? This is a king. This is a king? Yep, I believe you can option it for a queen. Well, then right here we have a king size bed, and you can option it for a queen. You do have power and USB on both sides. I love that. The windows all the way around. Yep, there's the thing that says king size bed. Yep. And the headboard, fantastic. And let's see if there's storage underneath. Right there, with your spare chairs. Nice. Right over here. Oh, I hate that. Oh, is it locked at the bottom? Yeah, I hate that. Okay, very nice here. You do have prep for a washer dryer, even though I wouldn't put it there. But at least it's prepped for it. And yep. you got storage right here. Okay. Yeah. No. Not yeah, that side's open. Not a too. fan at that. Oh. Uh, see, I like it better when it clips up at the top. Nice drawers there. A little bit more storage, you know. Yeah. Very good job. I know why they do that because they probably had some issues. Give me a clip up top. Oh, yeah. Right here. 
hidden storage right here. Guys, you have a smart TV. Right. This is what's in, I don't know if it's this brand or the other brand. This is what I have in mind. I've never used um, air signal or or uh, camp cable. Yeah, I know. I, I, I just use this. Yeah, you know, that's all so you much, need. So much better. You know, you hook up to a hotspot on your phone and uh -huh. you got all your channels. You don't need to like do that little twist, you know, mm -hmm. and pinch your fingers and all that stuff. Not about that life. I do love that TV. And then Will, show us this garage area. Okay. Go on down. <laughs> oh, I missed this pantry, too. Holy smokes! I missed them. Dang, that's a nice pantry, it too. It really is. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay, all the way in the back, you have a nice 10-foot garage, right? 13. Oh, 13 foot How garage. did I know that? Because it's a... 40, 40 V13. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, nice huge garage. You got a bed up top and another bed right here. And um, this, so this one can be either a bed or flip up to make tables, chairs, all that good stuff. Yep. Tons and tons of tie downs. I love how Alliance does this. So there's, tell me about it. Yeah, there's over like 100 spots. And you just clip it in here. And so any one of these, it can be clipped in at. So you can get a really good, you know, you're not bound by nine D rings. 60 rings. 60 right. Rings sometimes, yeah. Uh, you know, you can figure out where it's going to hold it the best. This is good for all your bikes and motorcycles oh, and everything. Yeah. And then, um, what else you got going on there? This is the other side of that patio door. It's also a ramp. You got the uh, all season doors there as well. Yep. And the little railing as well when you make it a patio. Not only that, well, if you stand in that corner, I mean, this if you corner? stand there, yeah, there's no obstructions. You know what I'm saying? None at all, yeah. Not only that, I do also like the addition of these LED lights. Right. So what was going on was when this was up, it made it kind of dark in here. Right. So I do like that. You have a little bit of storage there, a loft area up here above the TV. Very cool. Okay. This is where I would put my washer dryer or whatever it's called. Right. Um, but if you have a big toy in here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might need to put up. And then top. look look at that silent salesman right there. Mm -hmm. Garage insulated floor, weather resistant ramp patio. Guys, if it doesn't say that stuff on the brochure, that means it's not. You know what I'm right. saying? Very cool. And then oh man, we're gonna get a phone call. Double fail. Actually, it's not that bad, but you do need to poop with the door open. Okay. You need to pee with the door open, too, honestly. Like, yeah. But it's a garage area, you know what I'm saying? I hear you. Uh, nice little storage here, good cabinet area. And, well, this is a prime poop position if we were sellouts. Dang. Dang, but we're not. It's not a prime poop position. As much as we love Alliance, we love our prime poop positions better. You know there you go. Saying? And well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things that we love about this unit. Three things that we don't like about it. Will, what should we do first? You want to do... Man, I forgot to think about it. Dislikes Dislikes, first. yeah. Dislike number one. Will, I don't enjoy this. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm, I gotta come down here to pull the levers to dump my tanks. Oh, man. Do you not like this? I hate this. I wish there was an override somewhere. And there might be because I'm seeing some pull handles right there. But still, you kind of got to hook it up there. Right. So I don't know if it's an override or whatever. But the fact is that it's so deep under the slide out. I'm not a fan of that. That's dislike number one. Will, what's dislike number two? That was dislike number one. That was a good one. Will, I do have a dislike number two. It was a big obvious one. I know I had one too, and I can't remember. Where was it? Go out there, maybe it'll, it'll ring a bell. Yeah. And I was like, man, this is a great dislike for me to think about. What the heck was it? Oh, the doors in the bedroom. Oh right. Those closet doors suck. Yeah. Like beyond. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like, le like, let me put it to you this way. The solid surface countertops really matter. Mm hmm No, people were buying this with the epoxy. Yeah, board. yeah. This was just opinion. Will anybody not buy this unit because of those doors? Right, no, no, not at all. But it's annoying. But do those doors suck worse than anything on earth? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, little clippy manufacturer. I hope Alliance Stop doesn't do business with you. <laughs> it's not good. Not only that, Will, I'm going to point out one other thing. Okay. Be petty. You know why, Will? Why? Because I put a little salt. I'm a little salty. Okay. Look at this. 
Not to be that guy. This one sucks, but it's okay. Yeah. This that one, one. Look. Come here. Mm-hmm. Open and close the door. Huh? Pull the door closed. You see that? It's going to be scraping the whole time. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And is it scraping? No. Is it doing anything? No. Right? But just like how a drop of water. Yeah. Over time. Right. You will right. see skid marks there. Okay. And it's dumb. They could have put it right there. That's dislike number two, and then, well, give me a third dislike. Mm -hmm. Try to think of one, buddy. I cannot remember, but I felt like I had a good one. I feel like there was something in this kitchen. Really? Maybe not. Okay, yeah, I don't know if this is even what I was thinking. Not really a dislike, but I'll mention it. I do wish they used, like, this is a higher end full profile fifth wheel toy hauler. So I wish that they used Insignia. It's okay because it's the four burner and it's the turkey tested. But like being in here in this kitchen area is so tight. Yep. Like opening up the door, you know, trying to actually cook in here would be tight. Especially with, you know, you have your stove here, your sink right like here. Like you can't back up and open the oven. Yeah, exactly. I totally get that, Will. You know what, and that's a good dislike, but again, not definitely not a deal breaker because no, toy yeah, hauler at the end yeah. of the day. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. Love this living room area. This is my favorite sofa of all time. Right. I wish my RV had this, and um, unfortunately it doesn't. And I'm kind of stuck with my RV for a little bit. Yep. But um, but maybe you know 2026 20, or something. There you go. I don't know, but the double sofa. The whole point. The double sofa. I love it. Yep. You don't need a dinette. Yep. Not only that, especially in a toy hauler, you got a dinette with that little right, bump, you know? Right. That's love number one. Love that. Yeah. Will, what's love number two? Love number two, I was going to kind of say along the same lines, not having a dinette. And, like, if you had a dinette in here, it would have taken some from the kitchen space. For a toy hauler, this kitchen's not bad. And, like, this mm. is all you need for the rainy days. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just sit, hang out here, and... You know, it is what it is. I'm going to combo that, Will, with the um, correct, the uh, update of the solid surface. Yes. Guys, yeah. if you remember previous years, it was all epoxy pour. Right. And I did not like that at all. Right. And you know what? America's spoken. It's not about Matt and Will, Will. It's about America. I know. I know. That's number two. And then, well, number three for me, when we talk about a Valor, we got to talk about how this garage is superior to the industry. Yes. Love the addition of the lights, love the beds, love the space, love the 13 feet of obstructive, obstructive space, and I love the individual tie downs. You know what I'm yep. saying? Kick butt awesome in America. And the weather resistant ramp door and all that. Well, that's it. That's our review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Few announcements before you go. Liquefied on our website with the new products. Join our Facebook group, Club Art Deco, if you want to know about the Matt's RV Reviews third rally yep. in October. If you're an Alliance owner, we will be at the Florida Southern Rally, yep. which probably hasn't happened yet, and we'll be at the National Rally. Please don't talk to us about sales. It's not why we're there, but we will have liquefied there, and we'll be hanging out. We're, we're, we're RVers like you guys. You of course, yep. Um, and again, we don't mind if you talk to us about sales personally, but like, you know, the Bradys don't like that. You know what I'm saying? We're right, just, right, right. We're just part of the community. Uh, so make sure you guys join us there, and if you guys do want to talk to us about a price, you can always go to generalrv.com backslash matscash on any Alliance RV product or any brand of RVs. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com, or you can always call the number, 844-969-4033. We have a team dedicated to the Matt's RV Reviews community to help you guys get the absolute Best price in America. That's right. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys can see why we love Alliance so much. They have built a great unit, great floor plan. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this Valor. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely yes, everybody so you. much for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.